I'm weighing out 350 grams of our chipotle pepper and adobo base. That is the um, part of our pepper base for our um, chipotle Mexican um, style hot sauce. The poblano still has a little bit of heat, but it actually tones down that chipotle flavor and that overwhelming spice to a more um, warm and kind of interesting flavor instead of being overpowering. That's the beauty of food science, is that you can do both. You can be an artist and you can be technical at the same time. Yep, we're hoping to do it in a squeeze bottle, like a plastic squeeze bottle. So, you know, we can't have too large of a particle size, otherwise it will clog and get stuck. All right, so we'll hand it all out, take off our frocks and hair nets, and then line up to start. Oh. Good? Sure. Okay, we got this. We have a brand new product from our lab today for you called Abrasa, a slow and steady burn. A spicy chipotle chili based sauce. We wanted to make a product for us. We wanted to make a product for our friends. We wanted to make a product that was going to be something that could be on the shelf for a long time. You really talked about millennials and that's a huge, huge, huge buzzword <laughs> right now. And you're kind of the first group that really brought that out. Rich, smoky, chipotle, kick in the mouth. <laughs> that was awesome. That was very nice. That was perfect. Yeah, it's too thick. It's I too think thick. Um, this is like chili paste almost instead of <laughs> yeah. like a sauce. Mm -hmm. They started out on a small scale and it worked fine, but as often happens when you scale up from just a bench top or a kitchen scale to a much larger scale, stuff happens. It'll be okay. Yeah. It still tastes good. If we had more time, if we had more money. <laughs> And that's, and that's important to us, is that if something doesn't go right, uh, we challenge them to tell us why. And, and that's a learning experience for them to, to be able to, to say this didn't work quite right. We, won't, we have suspicion of why it may not work right, but they have to tell us. Good one, guys. Stop. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we learned a lot of lessons. <laughs> I mean, like, even, even just like processing and budgeting constraints and not having enough ingredients to be able to like properly scale up. A lot of the problems we encountered, people encounter in industry, and I was just talking to some industry folks. They're like, yeah, we do this only like, it takes us a year <laughs> or two, or you know, we have recipes that we haven't even put on the shelf yet that we still want to put on the market. You know, especially with the squeeze top, uh, very elegant presented on the plate. Um, still like the heat. I like it. Very good. It was pretty spicy and I liked it. Um, I don't know if I would get a whole bowl of it, but I could really see it being used as an accent sauce or incorporated with other sauces just to give that kick. It was really good. It's done. The deed is done. I have a feeling that when I walk into a job, I'm going to be more fully prepared than anyone else to be able to do a research and development job because I took this class. It was the funnest class I've ever taken. I mean, like, the professors set this class up for success, absolutely. Yeah, that's why I'm in food science, man. I mean, I love this stuff.